leaving Tonopah, travel day number four. Um, shoot, I forgot to unzip Kaylee. So we stayed at the Tonopah um, Hospitality and RV place. It is um, north of Tonopah, just a couple miles. And this is where we normally stay up here on the BLM road. Right below that mountain there. That mountain there. But it was going to be in the low 20s. So we wanted to make sure we were plugged in for some heat. Keep our pipes from freezing. So there's the road that we normally go up right here. And then we stay just on the other side of that hump right there. It was a little bit noisy because the uh, where you park for your RV is right next to the, the highway. <laughs> so it's almost like just being pulled off on the side of the road. But we had electricity and that was good. We only heard a couple noisy trucks. I don't see anybody up there. No, nope, nobody's up there. Right around up here is where we stay. There's a nice wide area where we can turn around and everything. So today we are on to Beatty and we have a couple hour drive about, we'll see, let's see, does this sign say? Nope, it doesn't even say. It's about 93 miles. So to Goldfield it's 26 miles and then, yeah, it was a um, little over an hour and a half if you were in a car, so a couple hours for us, probably, probably another bright sunny warm morning good for traveling to the pond just south of Beatty. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Vanderbilt Road. A quarter mile away. <laughs> will be on the right. Not full this time. All right, now we just need to find a spot. Mm -hmm. We have arrived at the pond in Beatty. <laughs> the pond is over there. Bear. Okay. So excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going for a walk. Going in the truck. We're going walking. <laughs> there is hardly anybody here. When we arrived, there was somebody up on the concrete pad up there, and he left just as we finished getting set up. And he came and said, Hey, you want a great spot? And I'm like, Yeah, I know. Uh, We've been here before. It's a great spot. Too late. But we're set up. Too late. We got level already. <laughs> so. As you can see, people are homesteading it here, which is not good, but maybe they need to. We are not the boondocking police. Thank God. There's water and there's the coots. 
little ducky birds. Looks like it's Yeah, it does. Yeah, because look right here. Yeah, there's water. It's, it's normal. No drought for this pond. Maybe a little bit. If you look at the reeds yeah, over there, it might be down a little bit. There's quite a bit of water in there. Yeah. And the leaves are still changing here. Just tell us what temperature it is. It is. Look at that blue sky. Isn't that gorgeous? 70 degrees and sunny. Wow. Love it. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. That's what I'm doing. Chasing 70. Lori says it's hot. <laughs> We're chasing 70. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner! <laughs> Boy, as soon as we got here, it was like, oh my gosh, we need to open windows. It's warm. It's very nice. Very pleasing. Pleasing temperature. So there we are. There's Highway 95, right? It's 95? Yes, Still going down into Pahrump. Planning on staying here, what, three nights, we think? Yeah. We'll cut out of here on Monday and head farther south. Yep. Oh, ho, ho, I hear burrows. <laughs> Somewhere up there on the mountains. Oh, well, there he is, right there. Where? Right across the road. Oh, I see it moving. The little one, right. Right in between there. You probably can't see it. Actually, right there. I see him. Travel day one of the second leg of our trip, <laughs> heading south. Uh, we just left Beatty, Nevada, and heading to Pahrump, Nevada. The pond. We were at the pond. Yep, for a few nights, and uh, it was fine, nice and quiet, except for you know a couple of loud trucks because you're yeah. not very far off of the highway. But um, it's it was fine. It was windy, which is usually windy there, isn't it? it usually is. You're in right close up, butted up against those mountains. Yep. It, just, it just seems to stay windy there. Yeah, kind of in a little canyon between some hills. So um, we are headed to a Boondockers Welcome in Pahrump. We stayed with him last year. And <laughs> he uh, called Tom today to find out about what time we would be arriving and said that he was excited that we were coming back. Yeah. So that's nice to hear. they go the welcoming committee we're at our boondockers welcome here in Perump, and uh, the doggies across the street all they do is bark they're quite the chatterbox yes yep they uh, want to see bear mm -hmm. <laughs> they know bear is here say hi bear hi bear what? so we are just in Perump for a very quick stay Right? Right. Right. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> very quick. Very quick. Came to get our mail and do some work and then we're out of here. Pass it through. Yep. So, wow, the donkeys must come right here. There's donkey poo-poos. Yeah, looks like it. Yep. Because I haven't been on that side of the fence today. Not today. <laughs> that could be there from the last time we were here. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. So, so we love Boondockers Welcome. We do, very much. You know? And some people are hesitant, and I don't understand why. Maybe because of going and staying at strangers' houses or and something? Yeah, the person we're staying with, we did not know before we stayed here the first time last year. But we became acquaintances with this guy, and when we knew we were coming back, I contacted him through our Boondockers Welcome app, and he said, oh yeah, I'd love to see you guys again. Yeah. So see, it's that simple, and it's it's free. Boondockers Welcome is free. You don't really have to to pay money or anything like that, Except unless you for... use their services and they ask for money. Some people actually offer up power, water, and sewer, and don't want anything. Right. Some um, people are asking for five dollars a night or ten dollars a night, and if that's the case, if you get full hookups for ten bucks a night, you can't beat that. Right, and you're usually by yourself, not with other people. Yeah. Um, except for your host. And there's a yearly fee, so it's not entirely free, but each stay yeah. is is generally free. And if you sign up right now, use our link below to Boondockers Welcome. It's part of Harvest Hosts, but you're only buying Boondockers Welcome uh, membership. You get an annual membership, and if you do it before the end of the year, you get an extra six months. So instead of 12 month membership, you're getting an 18 month membership. Nice. Through Boondockers Welcome right now. Got to use that link below. Awesome. Okay, are we done? I guess for right now. All right, see ya. Life is short.